Hello again, it's Brian. And Melissa and Waffles. Waffles had his year birthday and he had surgery, so we have ten, 10 days of the cone of shame, but he's a very good trucking dog. <laughs> In this video, we're gonna go over our ARI sleeper and Melissa is gonna show it off and give some tips and tricks on how we stay organized. And then I'll give a couple tips and tricks in the back of the van body box. So we have the ARI sleeper. Um, each truck is a little bit different. We've seen a few different models and yours may be uh, set up the same way. It may not be, but they're gonna be pretty similar. So with our AR ARI sleeper, um, it's pretty cool. We have the microwave, which is convection oven as well. We have a good size fridge and freezer, full RV style, which is really nice because on the road you'll get sick of, at least we get tired of always eating um, fast food and lots of the truck stops have the same fast food or restaurants by them. So not only is it fast food, it's repetitive. And this way we get to bring a like freezer meals or sometimes when we're at home, I'll cook items and then, you know, uh, prep things. So on the road we can eat fresh and good. And then every two weeks or so, one or two weeks, we'll just make a Walmart run and grab things and stock up. So on the road, also when we're doing expedite, we're just going, going, going. So it's that way. It's great that we have meals while the other person's driving and we can make quick stops, just turn around. Um, we have lots of storage in here. We have this overhead here, which we have, you know, items in. This is kind of our kitchen area. And then this is like our kitchen pantry. We've added this paper towel holder. And we've added these holders down here too. You'll just know when you get on your truck that it's pretty bare. So sometimes you just need extra little containers or hooks. So don't be afraid to get on Amazon, Walmart. Um, we just use double-sided tape so it's easy to come off. We've got our towel hook there. This cupboard here is one of my favorites on our sleeper so we can keep our coffee mugs, our coffee, um, baby wipes, whatever, whatever you use a lot that you just need right at your fingertips. We have a nice counter space, our sinks under there too. So this lifts off when we need the sink. Um, and you can see just things that you would use every day that you take for granted and then realize, wait, our soap's on the counter and it's going to be falling all over as we drive. So we've put it in the container, just things like that. Here, we like to, like I said, this is our pantry. So we've utilized these totes. That way it's easy for us just to take in and out and store different um, food items, cracker streets, microwavable things. We've got our silverware in one, our dishes in another. You can see though that this is pretty tall. So one of my recommendations is to get a foldable step stool, just nice and slim. That way you'll be able to reach the counter, not the counters, but the cupboards and the folding blackout curtains too. Those are too high. So the step stool does come in handy for that. Unless you're seven feet tall. Um, under the kitchen, we have more storage so we can keep like our dog food is where we keep that. We have a um, portable vacuum, which is really nice to every few days. We just clean up, wipe everything down, sweep and vacuum. That way everything's kept really clean and tidy. It's, it is there is a lot of storage, but we've learned that less is more. And so even as we've gone, we've, uh, this past year, we probably started out with more things and then we've slimmed down realizing we just use the same things over and over and over. So we don't have as much on here because we don't want it to clutter either. The bins make it nice though. So you can really see what you have and, um, reach, reach it easy. 
and you can get more in the cupboard space, I think. Best part of the ARI sleeper and the extended sleepers with exam is that they have a bathroom. Woohoo! Everyone needs a bathroom on their truck. It's so convenient. And once you've had one, I don't think you could go back. So it's pretty awesome. That's why we um, chose who we chose, the fleet. So the bathroom is right through this door. You can see that it is cool though. Like um, we've got the mirror here. I've got a calendar to tell us like keep us organized and what our schedule was. That was last month. It was pretty busy. And let's open this up. We've added extra storage in here. You can see it comes uh, equipped with a shower that you can utilize. We, however, just choose to use the showers at the truck stops. And so we have added this extra storage, not worrying that it's going to get wet. We got those containers on Amazon and they help us stay clean and organized. We have the broom, the mop. Those were simple purchases to at Walmart or Amazon. All right. And then after the kit past the kitchen here, we have like our dining area and our media area. So we have our TV here and the media cupboard right above. We have our internet, our DVD and our computer. This easy just hooks up into the TV monitor so we can stay up to date while we're on the road and do business and entertainment. It's pretty nice. I like how it's set up here on this truck too, because it's right over the bed and the chairs. So that makes it easy. Some of the other trucks there, the TV might be somewhere else, but it swivels around, which is good too. This setup here, we each have a cubby and it has that chair rail, which is nice, the RV style. So when you're on the road, things will stay in place. We also have extra storage here. This is for things we might not use all the time, but it really does have a lot of storage on this truck. And then we have the nice dinette, two, two spots, um, our table, and then of course the bed folds down from here. This is just bigger than a twin size, I believe. Some of the bed sizes differ a little won't ever be smaller than that and we've gone ahead and invested in some memory foam so we have extra cushion while the truck's moving we really have noticed a difference with the memory foam and so that's been cool we have extra storage up here again we just keep everything in these bins that way it's really easy just to pull out and we don't lose anything um you know back in the corners of the truck so that's good this cupboard here is where we keep all of our cleaning supplies so when we need to clean every few days or every day we just take that out and it's real quick cleaning because it is a small space but it's big enough and it's doable for both of us um here too we have our closet so we each have a closet space that is my truck wardrobe for the as we're working and then brian's is he's utilized his with the bins and the totes so there's his so like i said some of the other trucks though we didn't have this but we would just keep our clothes in different bins in the cupboard space like this and then over here we have the panel with all the controls for the overhead ac this is where the battery charger is um ba bathroom lights and stuff and then this we just added i mean don't be afraid just to add things like this to hang clothes or whatever jackets sometimes they make these areas and you know and then you think where am i supposed to hang my jacket where's the garbage can so get creative and get organized so here's a good tip that i found for storing your uh, straps I just strap them in from side to side, crank them down a little bit, and tie up the slack. That's a really good way to not have a big mess of straps everywhere inside the back of your truck here. Um, another thing is uh, if you have a dolly and your furniture pads and everything, 
Um, it's nice to have that stored up high. Uh, that's going to make it so that you can actually put 10 pallets in here and not have to move a bunch of stuff. I like to roll my blankets up. It's a nice way to store them. Um, this piece of wood is just a laminated piece of wood I got from Home Depot. I think it was like 20 bucks or so. And I put a couple hooks on it and some rubber straps so it's not permanent. That's a nice way to stay organized. Tupperware with some extra straps and furniture guards, dolly, just, you know, whatever you can do to stay organized and keep it up high, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier down the road. Um, another thing with your pallet jack, I like to keep mine right here and I just got a thousand pound strap to hold it on tight that way it's not moving all around and I like to keep a couple blankets loose and my load bars up high most of the time it's just eight pallets you know six pallets but when it is ten pallets I'm prepared and ready so all right thanks for watching this video we hope it helps you stay organized on the road one thing we learned is the more organized you are, the easier those long, uh, long loads from across the country will be. And the easier it is to eat on the road and sleep on the road. And it's definitely worth it. So we'll see you again in the next video. Bye. Bye.